Anthridge with the Bloody Point, another Throne and Liberty video. This one uh, focusing on traits on your gear. So you see I'm wearing this nice cloak. However, it is currently uh, unupgraded and only has one of the three trait slots unlocked. So the first thing we're going to show is how you can upgrade the trait using lower tier gear in terms of quality. So my cloak is rare and I have this green uncommon cloak with the same trait. And you can see that it gives me a 10% chance to upgrade. And this will take it from plus 20 to plus 40 in the skill damage resistance stat. And there's a, there's a cost in Solent, of course. Now, what happens is if you fail, you get this blessing stat on the item. So the, the stat is applied to the item you're trying to upgrade. And this will uh, increase the chances of further upgrade attempts if you're using uh, gear of a lower tier. So as you can see, I failed. I have now eight blessing on this item, which means that if I uh, eventually, you know, if you use a lot of uncommon gear to upgrade your blues, you will eventually reach 100%. So since I failed, now we're going to show how you do it with 100% chance using an item with the same trait of the same uh, quality or tier. You can see it's 100%, take it up by 20. Uh, again, a Solent cost. And as you can see, it has upgraded. So we now have two of the three pips in that trait specifically. And now I have up to, uh, I've taken it up to 40. The third and final uh, thing you can do with traits is to unlock new traits on the gear. And this is done in a similar process. However, you require uh, another item of the exact same, not just type, but the same gear item name itself. So in this case, I'm going to upgrade my uh, top armor piece. Uh, this is the uh, list of possible traits that I could look for. Uh, what I'm going to do is go on to the marketplace and find uh, an item of the same type with uh, a trait that I want on my gear. And, uh, you know, these in the case of the best uh, traits are pretty expensive. Now, I, let's see, yes, so, some of these are upside my price range, obviously, but we're going to go with one that uh, that I can afford, and it is still good. Health regen is a desirable stat. Now, you're not buying the actual gear itself. You are buying the trait extract. I should have clarified that. Okay, so you can see I have same piece, exactly, duplicate, and it is going to allow me to add the trait. You can see now I have a second trait unlock option. The success rate is again 100% because it is the same quality. Of course it's a duplicate so it's going to be and the the cost in Solent is a bit higher and then there's a warning about the resulting item will no longer be tradable. Uh, not too much of an issue because you would really only do this uh, for your own personal use. You're not going to put it on the market. All right, success. So I have unlocked a second trait on my armor piece here. Range endurance and health regen. Ideally for the third one, I'm gonna want max health. I do not have any further uh, items I can use for upgrading. So there you go, trait upgrading and unlocking. Uh, thanks for watching.